In this video, I'm going to discuss Salesforce as a fancy database. Coming up. So database is a collection of organized information and in databases we generally store information in tables. So here is a simple table like this and this table store different different kind of kinds of information or types of information that we say as columns and the different instances of this table will be called as rows. Now let's talk about Salesforce. In Salesforce we call this table as object these columns as fields and these rows as records that's it now look how easy terminologies does salesforce have for different different things like table is object rows are records or column is a field. Now let's talk about uh, ER diagrams or entity relationship diagrams or schema. So in ER diagrams, what we exactly do is entities are created as tables and attributes are created as columns and records or rows you say it as tuples now as you have understood that what objects are now let's discuss what types of objects do we have in salesforce so there are two types of objects in salesforce one standard object the other one custom object let's see what is the difference between both of them standard objects are included within the salesforce by default like accounts leads and opportunities these are the objects which are already created into the salesforce environment or into the salesforce org by salesforce itself and you cannot delete those objects whereas Custom objects are the objects that you create to store the custom information that you want to store unique to your business or unique to your organization. You must be thinking that why Salesforce provided some objects by itself only or by default. So let me tell you what the reason behind that. These objects are used to store some kind of information that is required for every business. That information needs to be stored for every business. Like let's say accounts. Accounts are basically your customers or prospects. Every business needs to store the information of their customers or their prospects. Leads potential customers if there is no lead there is no business opportunities deals if you have the lead you want to convert them and make a deal with them so that means these are the objects or these are the type of information that every business needs to store into salesforce that is the reason sales, uh, salesforce has provided some standard objects in in their salesforce org similar to objects fields are also of two types standard fields and custom fields standard fields are the type of fields which cannot be deleted Whereas custom fields are the type of fields which can be deleted. Now let me explain you what is the difference between both of them exactly. Okay, so if you talk about standard object that is account. In account there can be many many standard fields or many many fields which you cannot delete. So those are standard fields. But there are some fields that you can delete. So that's a custom field in a standard object. Now let's talk about custom object. Like, like let's say if you have created a candidate object and uh, you to store the information of a candidate who is applying a job. So in that candidate object, there will be four standard fields, name created by owner last modified by. You cannot delete those fields and they are created automatically. You do not have to do anything to create them. Whereas if you want to store different type of information or different attributes of a candidate or different columns in that particular object, in that particular custom object, you'll create a custom field. And custom field can be deleted so that's it now let's jump right into our salesforce org and create custom object and custom field because standard object and standard field are already present we cannot create them and if you are creating them then they are custom now let's quickly create a custom object into our salesforce org so to create this custom object we'll simply go to setup and in the setup we'll go to object manager and in object manager we have uh, create custom object we'll type down the label like let's say we want to create a candidate object uh, does it sound a like wobble no okay so there is label there is a lab, a name of the object so label will be shown on the ui whereas name will be used in the api or in the code 
and tool label will be the name of the tab or wherever uh, there will be more than ca one candidate records uh, the tool label will be shown over there okay uh, then if you want to write any description just write it down uh, if you want to set any uh, context sensitive help setting if you have created a visual force page then select this and select the visual force page but we haven't created any one yet and if you, want, if you don't want to then just select this one itself um, a, a, an object cannot exist without a field so a field will be added to this object which will store the candidate's name or uh, let's say I'll make it candidate ID in which I'll set the display for mat as this and the starting number is this so now the first uh, candidate that uh, record that will be created uh, will uh, like that uh, that candidates record uh, candidate id will be c-001 and then c-002 likewise and let's select all these features do you want uh, do you want to allow reports on this object do you want to allow activities do you want to track field history on this object do you want uh, uh, the records of this object to be allowed in chat groups sell a case for everyone okay so you want to say uh, even you want to deploy this object or, or you want to keep it in development so it's it's totally up to you if you're creating an object into a production environment or something or uh, let's say if you're creating an object uh, which you want uh, not to be available which you do not want to be available for the rest of your users then set it in uh, set it as in development and if you want all the users uh, in your org can use this object then select it as deployed allow search yes you allow the search on this particular object add notes and attachment related to list and launch new custom tab as well so when you click on save a new window will open up to create a custom object tab okay so tab is just a ui functionality using which you can access the records of that particular object so over here we are creating a tab for candidate object and we will select the tab style as next and over here you can set the default tab visibility so the tab visibility can be any one of them default on default off and tab hidden uh, default on is basically that will be shown on the top bar default off is uh, that default off will be shown in the all tabs or in the app launcher and tab hidden will not show uh, the tab to that particular uh, user to the users of that particular profile now we'll select default on for each profile if you want to set different uh, tab visibility for different profiles, just set it like this. And we are system administrator by default. I mean, if you are if you are using a developer edition or okay. Anyways, let's click on next. I want to include this tab into sales application. Click on save. Okay. This object is created and when I'll go on the sales application. So here we have the candidate tab and now if you want to create a new record of the candidate tab then we'll simply click on new. Okay, so now it's not asking us to enter any information because we only have candidate ID field which is an auto number. So in auto number we do not need to create anything. Let's click on save. Oh yeah, C001, a record is created on the candidate object. Now let's say if you want to add a, a custom field on any of the object, then just click on setup again. Go to the object manager. Click on the object or select the object in which you want to add a particular field. Then click on fields and relationships, new and select the data type, whichever you like or whichever you want to. Click on next, select uh, let's say candidate name, then task 50, I'm going to make it as required. Okay, now let's get back to that candidate tab. Okay, so we have candidate tab over here. Let's create a new candidate. Now it's asking for us for the candidate name. Click on save. 
this is how it works so now you know how to create an object and how to create a custom field now just go to your developer org and try your hands on op uh, creating objects and creating fields now that's all what you need to know about the fancy database of salesforce and if you like the video then give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here if you're watching this on youtube and if you're watching this on linkedin or facebook then there's a link down in the description just hit that link go to the youtube channel hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to salesforce with the salesforce hulk also i wanted to share something else with you guys uh, from last three months i haven't been posting uh, i haven't posted any video uh, earlier I used to post a video every week but from last three months I haven't posted any video and there was a reason behind it I was lining things in my career and in my life and they were pretty imbalanced at that moment so I really didn't got any time to create the videos but and I mean I'm really sorry for it sincere apologies but now I'm back and I'm gonna create two videos per week so be ready get ready subscribe to the channel if you haven't share it with the folks that whom with, with whom you're learning salesforce of, or or with whom you want to grow into the salesforce ecosystem because i am there to help you out and i really love this i really love to share the knowledge i have and i re i i really love you guys